Hi, my name is Catherine Smallwood, and I'm the COVID-19 Incident Manager for the WHO European region. Recently, we've seen the emergence of a new variant of SARS-CoV-2, which we've called Omicron. Omicron was first reported to WHO on the 24th of November and declared as a variant of concern two days later. There's still a lot we're learning about this new variant and some uncertainty into how it will transmit across Europe and the public health impact that transmission will bring. Overall, there's no significant change to the response strategy for COVID-19, nor in the individual actions that we'll be taking as individuals to protect ourselves from infection. So what do we know about the Omicron variant right now? We know several things, and we're learning more every day. In terms of its transmissibility, i.e. its advantage to spread easily from one human to another, we're seeing that Omicron has a growth advantage over Delta variant, which is the current variant that's dominant and spreading in the European region. This means that it is likely that over the coming weeks and months, we will gradually, and in some cases quite quickly, see the replacement of Delta by the Omicron variant. It's not clear yet whether this transmissibility is due to the inherent characteristics of the Omicron variant, or whether it's also associated with its ability to evade our immunity. When it comes to our immunity against the Omicron variant, what do we know? Well, we know two things, and we're learning more. First of all, that if you've had COVID in the past, your risk of reinfection with the Omicron variant is significantly increased. In addition, we've seen preliminary evidence that the effectiveness of vaccines to protect against infection with COVID-19 decreases with the Omicron variant as compared to other variants. But we still expect that vaccination will protect against severe disease and deaths. And this is, of course, the primary purpose of the vaccination programme. It's therefore really important that people continue to get vaccinated, especially if they're at high risk of COVID-19 and severe disease. What we know about Omicron in particular just reinforces what we've known all along about the importance of our actions to protect ourselves individually through masking, through physical distancing, through ventilation of indoor spaces, through hand hygiene and respiratory hygiene. When it comes to severity, there's a lot that we don't know. And it's too early yet to say much about whether Omicron variant leads to less severe or more severe COVID-19. What's really important is that if you have signs or symptoms of COVID-19 and those will remain the same, that you get tested and that you contact your healthcare provider, especially if you're at risk of severe disease. And then finally, how does Omicron change the effectiveness of our other tools against COVID-19? In terms of testing, we have no evidence yet that there's any gaps in the testing. So rapid diagnostic tests and PCR testing will work for Omicron. In addition, we're looking at the effectiveness of our therapeutics. And we have a range of therapeutics, including the early detection of cases and early management, but we're still learning more at this stage and we'll be updating our guidance as WHO as soon as we find out more about how these tools work against the Omicron variant.